That vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. It sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. It's not possible just now. It's blocked. as we posted, someone with deep pockets will show up sooner or later to liberate Booster. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out or gag him. Locked. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, Riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Constantine, it's me! My dear cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. Well, I'll do what I can. We're departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you, I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. If you only knew how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, good cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. They haven't spotted us. 
We could sneak out of here silently. We have a ship to board. You've always been the reasonable soul. Don't you think these brutes deserve a punishment? Yes, without a doubt. But don't you think there are more pressing matters? Kurt, it is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall follow. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Uh... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier Fredi for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough.
Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of his allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors. But our ancestors quickly realized that the Union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day, they will inevitably take place. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy, and energize life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. 
There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But, as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But, if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. I don't have the key. I don't have the key.
You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the Potion Maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al-Sad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them. Inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice. But it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Servant's door. The lock's double bolted. I don't have the key. I don't have the key. Locked. The key to the tavern. Let's go and find the alchemist. We need to get him out of here as fast as we can. So? 
Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes. I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being skinned alive by the mob? You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. I hope we don't run into any unhappy patients. This way. You want me dead? Is that it? Where are you headed? Don't abandon me. They're going to take me. We need to find my cart.
Holy Eagles, they've seen me. Help me, protect me. I've never learned to fight. To my help! Yeah. And death to the others! My cart, finally. I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back. And stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson anytime soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Farewell, my lord. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He managed to slip through our fingers. Once again. That man is part eel. We followed his trail to the coin guard tavern, but he had already escaped. All the same, you have nothing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. <sighs> we'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade.
Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah. You must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith, but their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. How is Teleme faring on Tierfredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. 
There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tirfredi? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here, but perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. How did you find your son's trail? We have never stopped looking for him. We learned the new name they gave him. Jonas. My poor little Celestine. Then we learned the name of the ship he sailed on. No sooner had it docked in Serene than my husband had the crew watched closely, and we found him. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact? It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Excuse me, madam. But I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. With respect, my lady.
wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Tavern keeper. I oh, see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. <laughs> 